welcome back to the Holy Ashtray, also known as Gordon Haarsnijder and Barbie. We're back with another video. My name is Rob. My good-looking model here is Daniel, a fellow barber. Uh, he used to be my model for the crop haircut. That is what I wanted to do today, but then this, this new, new father Congratulations. Uh, told me, Rob, I actually kind of want to grow my hair. So I have to improvise a little bit because he wants short sides, but he wants to keep length on the top. It's already getting longer, so that means that I can basically go short under the longest length. So that's what we're going to do. So this is just like a real quick fade to remove a lot of bulk. I'm going to move to my next step. Yeah, and I'm going to take that whole crown area, which is usually where the ear is attached to the head, which is going to bring me to the highest point of the skull. Now we want to keep length because Daniel here wants to grow his hair, but we do want it to be able to flow into the back. So I'm going to take a section here. Make sure you got an even dampness throughout the hair. Work with the white side of the comb and slightly over direct to that baseline and connect. By over directing, we're going to have this nice flow into that nape area. Yeah, continue. Still no hair comes up. Transition by moving along with the haircut. Taking out that front triangle that we're going to save till later. Section on the side. Bring it down. Connect, maintaining the length.
Next section, probably not a lot of hair coming off. There you go. Maintaining all that length on top. Check. Yes, one section left. Probably not a, a lot of hair coming off as well. We are going to add some texture later though. We're make, keep the length in the front. Lift. Connect. Next section. Lift. Connect and check. So that is a very fast way to remove bulk, setting your baseline, which we are going to perfect later. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Here we go. Okay, next step, blow drying. A little bit of rooming tonic, just give it a little bit of extra hold. See, I didn't touch the top. I don't really know what to do with it. I just know he wants to grow it. So let's see what's gonna happen. So the main reason I dry the hair is just to find the shape I want to work with. So now that the hair is dry and I can see where it needs some extra work, that's where I'm going to set in my details. Plus I'm going to clean up the fade a little bit.
So we want to keep length because Danny wants to grow it, obviously. I'm just going to take a little bit of weight out of the ends of the hair, yeah? Not totally thin them because you don't want the hair to get frizzy, but you do want it to kind of flow into each other. So look at the way. See, there is actually not much hair coming out. Yeah, just make sure that you got that nice flow into the back. checking for excess weight don't take out too much though because we do want to grow the hair so you can continue till the hair pretty much goes where you want it to go and take out excess weight And it lays down as natural as possible. It's really important that even if he might not wear his hair like this, I want to make sure that by drying it quite loosely, I'm 100% sure that the composition of the haircut is in order. Clean up Daniel's beard a little bit to go with the rest of the haircut. Gonna go quite short on the sides, gonna leave a little bit more full in the front. I really think that's gonna go super nice with the hair. Okay? because I was planning to do a crop haircut, but this was fun. So you got your fade. Now, the cool thing is this is the perfect way to actually grow out somebody's hair. I did not touch the top. I just made sure it fell right in place. Now, with the added texture, it doesn't really matter what he's gonna do with his hair, right? Because I made sure that, his, that the proportions in the haircut are back. Yeah, so tomorrow, if he wants to wear it more to the front or with the natural wave or curl, it's good. all of these haircuts are gonna work. Today, I'm just gonna go for a slightly slicker look. A little bit of the red rousseau, water soluble, high sheen. But with this haircut, pretty much every product in the Russell line would have worked. That's how it works. That's how it works.
Ja, en de blijer kijken daar. Kom op, ja! Uh, uh. <laughs>